often think of business as a bottom line endeavor, with success and failure measured with graphs and reports. But for Ralph Clark, a 1980 graduate of College of the Pacific, business is about life and death. Violent crime is very real, unfortunately. But I think on top of that, we're seeing a crisis amongst the law enforcement profession. Their ability to deal with the uptick in violent crime is increasingly challenged, especially in some of our most vulnerable communities. Ralph Clark has a deep-seated, profound interest in improving people's lives, especially those who come from disadvantaged circumstances, uh, giving them a fighting chance uh, to live. Ralph Clark grew up in the gritty flatlands of East Oakland, California. But Ralph was shielded from much of the city's turmoil by his parents and the guidance of his unforgettable Catholic school teacher, Sister Marcella McMacken. It really speaks, I think, to the power of having someone outside your family uh, look at you with all of the love and support and possibilities. Ralph arrived at Pacific in the fall of 1976, determined to obtain a transformative education. At the time, I thought I wanted to be a dentist, which I was a horrible at. A philosophy department class called Theodicy revealed Ralph's appetite to embrace complex problems. The puzzle is if God is, you know, uh, perfectly good, all-knowing, and omnipotent, how could evil exist in the world? Ralph got an A-plus in the class and discovered his life's purpose. His Pacific degrees led him first to IBM and later to the Harvard Business School. Ralph married Rebecca Ann Gardenhire in 1988, and together they have raised four children. I'm probably the most kind of persistent slash optimistic, resilient person I know. Um, I have a very strong growth mindset. I don't lose ever, I learn. After success in high-tech startups, Ralph was recruited to become the CEO of an acoustic gunshot detection company called ShotSpotter. And so I made the trip down to uh, talk to the founder, uh, Dr. Bob Schoen. His view is that the highest and best use of technology is when it can be harnessed for social good. And I really like that vibe. ShotSpotter was a revolutionary, life-saving technology that Ralph Reason could transform policing. The thing that most people don't realize is that a criminal gunfire that happens in communities um, don't generally generate a 911 call. 80 to 90% of the time, guns are fired. No one calls 911. The vast majority of shooters in many urban settings is a very minute group of people doing most of the mayhem. And so helping law enforcement to solve that, um, um, I think, is another byproduct of uh, what Ralph and his team does. Ralph Clark holds the distinction of being one of only three African-American CEOs who have taken a company public. We're knocking on $100 million in revenue. There's over 300 employees in the company. He just kind of knew he was going to succeed at whatever he put his mind to. It's in Oakland, which is where I'm from. OPD credits uh, ShotSpotter with helping them save over 100 lives in one calendar year. I know that those stories are being played out across the 150 cities where we're deployed. We're saving lives. Saving lives and making cities safer. Please welcome the president and CEO of Sound Thinking Incorporated, the recipient of the Pacific Alumni Association's 2024 Distinguished Professional Service Award, Ralph Clark.